With the rapid development of AI tools, more software is available for commercial solutions and personal creativity every day. So in today's video, I'll cover Synthesia AI, one of the best video editing tools available, and how to make professional looking videos with it. Let's get going. But before we kick this Synthesia tutorial off, what exactly is it? Simply put, it's an AI video editing tool capable of creating compelling professional content even if you have no previous editing experience. And since Synthesia generates the video based on AI avatars, there's no need for you to show your face on camera. Cool, now that we've established what Synthesia AI is, let's proceed with the tutorial. To get started, you'll need to get an account and a subscription. No worries though, the registration is quick. Let me show you how to do it. First, go to Synthesia's website. And you can do that by clicking on the link in the description or by simply scanning the QR code on screen. Afterwards, you'll be taken to the same screen you see right now. You can choose from different subscriptions, but depending on how much you're planning to use Synthesia, I'd recommend getting the starter or creator packages. I chose the creator plan because it gave me more freedom and functionality. Then you can log in with your Google account if you have one or enter your email address and create an account that way. That's it. Great. Now that we're on Synthesia's platform, let's go on a walkthrough together. The first thing we see is the dashboard. At the top, we can also see options like new video, AI video assistant, dub with AI, and import PowerPoint. On the left, there's the main menu list. Then in the center of the screen, we can see Synthesia's own tutorial for beginners. So make sure to watch that later as well. Now, there are quite a few settings to go over, but in this video, I'll focus on the main functionality of Synthesia, video creation. That said, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a more in-depth guide on other settings too. Now let's start creating a video. To start a new project, I click on the New Video button in the top left corner of the dashboard. There's a slightly different New Video button in the top right corner too, but both of these will take us to the same place, so it doesn't matter which one you click. Then we're presented with all the available templates we can choose from for our video. But if you don't want to use a template, you can start with a blank canvas or even import media from PowerPoint. In this video, I'll be using a template, so let's scroll to the bottom to see what templates we have to choose from. For the record, you can select whichever template you like, but in this video, let me hover over the playful training video and press the use template button. With the template already chosen, we're loaded into a new playground where we can customize many different settings. First, let's replace the AI avatar for the video we're gonna generate. To do this, I click on the avatar, AKA video spokesperson, and a new window pops up. As you can see, the Synthesia avatar selection is pretty extensive, so I'm guessing you'll be able to for sure find the right fit for your video's format and style. But to switch to a different avatar, I simply click on the one I want, and that's it. I can also customize the animations of the avatar with the options on the same menu, or adjust if the avatar is gonna be displayed in full or just a circle. Now let's see what the avatar sounds like by writing a sample text at the bottom of the screen, like so. Since we chose a new avatar, let's select a new voice too. You can do this by clicking on the spokesperson icon in the text to speech space. Honestly, I'm satisfied with the performance of my avatar, so I'm gonna keep it. And then it displays in the UI how long the text to speech is gonna take, which is also handy. Lastly, for scene one, let's change the title on screen. To do this, select the text element and change the text according to your needs. Next in this Synthesia tutorial, let's move on to the left side of the screen where you can find the scene setting. Here, we can add a new scene and choose both a different template and AI avatar if we want to, repeating the steps that we covered earlier. Scene layout, a setting we can find on the right side of the screen is another important area where you can customize what the scene will look like, including its background and other settings. Since we have a new scene to play with, let's go ahead and customize it by adding more media elements. I want a nicer looking background, so to change it, I navigate to the right side of the screen and toggle the background media button. This will allow us to insert a video or image as a background, like so. Looks better already, doesn't it? Alternatively, if we just wanna change the background color, I click this button here and select the tone I want. And we can add additional text boxes or shapes right here if there's a need to do so, just like this. Now that we've created a video with multiple scenes, let's generate it. To do this, I click the blue generate button at the top right. Then I have the option to title the video I've created and describe it as well. Let me change the title like so, and then quickly describe the video with just a few words. Then finally, we can generate the video. Pretty cool. 
By the way, it can take some time for the video to be rendered. It largely depends on how long the video is and how many scenes you've added. A nice touch though, is that Synthesia emails you once the video is done generating. So you don't need to check the platform constantly to see it's done. So what are my thoughts about Synthesia after this review slash tutorial? Personally, I think Synthesia AI video editing is a standout in the AI tool market, which is flooded with mediocre products. For me, it really does feel as if I'm actually utilizing AI with Synthesia and not just some awkward half-baked software that creates more pain than comfort. Synthesia is very comfortable to use and flexible in the creative process. So you're pretty much bound only by your imagination when using this tool. It's good for beginners as the user interface is mostly self-explanatory and there are settings to play around with for more advanced users too. The only downsides of the provider are that generating a video can take a bit of time, but it's barely an inconvenience. It's the reality of video rendering in general. Also, there could be more AI avatars available for the free version of Synthesia for you to test it out. So if you'd like to give Synthesia a shot, I can definitely recommend it. Click the link in the description to get a subscription or scan the QR code on screen. Lastly, here at Cyber News, we use Synthesia ourselves and we've even created a news spokesperson with it, AI Joe. He's great, so feel free to check him out. And if you're interested in AI, I have other reviews of AI-driven software too. If you have any other questions on how to use Synthesia, let me know in the comments. Thanks and see you soon.